Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Lisa's Coloring Corner. If you're new here, hi and welcome to the channel. And if you're back, welcome back. Dottie Doodle sent me a new, this is a set of uh, coloring posters. Uh, I have done, I think, two videos in the past which showed their large uh, posters to color. Um, I believe those were 27 inch by 27 inch, so they were rather large. I think they kind of took um, into consideration the, the comments uh, that were left in some of those videos, along with, you know, other comments that they had gotten along the way. Wishing for something on a smaller scale. So, that's what they came out with. So, they sent me this pack to show you guys. So thank you very much to Dottie Doodle for sending this to me. I only cut it open so I didn't have to struggle on camera but I did not look inside yet. This is a set of four Christmas pictures and I know it's a little bit past Christmas but hey you can color Christmas any time of the year. So you get everything that you need for coloring these pictures. So we have five markers here. I'm almost anticipating. Yeah, I was going to say you're going to need a lot more than five. All right. So I'm going to link down below the first video that I did for Dotty Doodle because it really goes in depth um, explaining how to complete these posters because they're not your standard color by number. At least the large ones weren't. Um, you followed a grid um, and colored them in. I'm not aware how these smaller ones are, so I guess we shall find out together. I also did a color and chat coloring in that first one, and I'll leave links to both of those videos down below in the description. Hopefully I will find them. <laughs> and I'll also leave a link to Dottie Doodle's uh, main page and a direct link to this uh, Christmas pack. So let's see what's all in here. So we had those five markers, but look at all the markers. <laughs> so again, they only include the markers that are needed for this particular set of pictures. So we need a lot of, lot of colors here. <laughs> wow, we, huh? So yeah, with all of their sets, whether it's these smaller set of four pictures or their great big posters, they will always provide you with all the markers that you're going to need. So let's take a look. Whoa, I'm so sorry. My light fell down. I hope it's not going to be too shadowy over there now. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, let's take a look at the pictures. So you get the pictures in this plastic sleeve. This is the first time I have seen the smaller posters. So it'll be interesting. It says mini Dotty Doodle Kit. Simply color the dots with the corresponding numbered marker and enjoy. Don't bleed. Oh, this is interesting. Um, the large 27 by 27 posters, they do include a sheet that you put back behind the poster so that it won't bleed through onto anything, which is a nice feature. However, sounds like these, um, these are permanent alcohol-based markers, so please take care while using them. The backside of the image sheets are coated preventing bleeding through to the surf surface below. However, if you, if you should choose to color the outline border, make sure to put a thick cardstock under to ensure you don't ruin the surface on which you are working on. It says the, the box that it was sent in is a perfect choice. Should you use the fine or broad tip? So these are chisel and fine tips. It is personal preference. Many dotty doodlers like to use the fine tip, outlining the dot first and then filling in the rest with the fine tip as well. 
which is what I do. Some people prefer the broad tip. They say the color is more intense and it colors in faster. Relax, and then they do have their social media information. I know they are quite active on Instagram and they are on Facebook. All right, so here we have the four pictures that are included in this kit. Um, one other one that I thought was so, so cute is they have a set of four princesses. Yeah, so if you have a, a little girl who, you know, is old enough to be able to color in something like this, they maybe would like that particular set. But we have Rudolph. We have a snowman, we have Santa Claus, of course, and we have this really pretty gingerbread house. Now I'm thinking for this week's color and check, because I really want to get a color and chat up yet this week. Which one should we do? Hmm, I think we're going to do this because of all the bright colors. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the one we'll do. All right, now, if your eyes bother you whatsoever, um, you may not want to do this. Um, even with my eyes, if you look at this as a whole, it kind of makes you go dizzy. <laughs> now, I notice these circles are much, much smaller than the large posters. The large posters have quite big circles. Well, not that big. They're pretty big, um, but because the poster is so large, you know, it's still relatively detailed and the picture turns out great, even though they have the large circles. But because these images, I think these are 14 by 14, um, they have the smaller circles and they're very different than the large posters. The large posters have empty circles. There is no number in the circle. You get a separate set of sheets. There are four sheets. Those separate sheets contain the number. So it's kind of like counted cross stitch, you know, where you have a pattern and then you count across to see where you should place um, that particular X for the, the uh, counted cross stitch when you're cross stitching kind of similar on the large kits, at least the ones that I received previously. I'm thinking they are the same. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's it's actually kind of fun. You you take, uh, it's a set, a grid. So you have four sheets. So one sheet is the upper left, one sheet is the upper right, one is the lower left, and one is the lower right, and they indicate what goes where. Um, so, yeah, you just you know, follow that back and forth. This set, however, will be much easier. There's not the counting over and whatnot if you don't want to, you know, have to do that. This one actually has the numbers right in the circle. Let me scroll in or zoom in. So you can see we do have the numbers right in here. So, of course, these numbers will correspond to the markers that you receive. So these are the Dotty Doodle markers. Let's untape these. So as they mentioned, we do have a fine tip. We have the broad tip, which is your chisel tip. So your standard chisel, which as I said, some people like coloring these in with the chisel tip, um, especially on the other posters, the large ones, because the circles are so much bigger. I, however, always liked using the fine tip um, just because I don't like chisel tips. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. Um, and I am one that I like to outline the circle and then just color it in. So you will have the name and number of that particular marker, just like we're always used to. And then, like this one is 98. 
So I think what you would want to do, um, and what I did with the other ones, is I put these markers in a case. Um, once you're done, you know, with the picture, you could just put them with all your other alcohol markers. Um, but what I did is I put them in numerical order, um, which made it much, much easier to find what you needed for the picture. Now, they may not be in color order, which, you know me, I always go for color family order, but... Um, you can see very much that these are not going to be going in that order because here we have a couple oranges. This is, you know you can't see, this is number 24. This is 211. So you're going to see we have some browns in between. Um, if we look at these, we have 236 and 221. One is a yellow, one is a green, but they're going to be placed very close to each other. Some greens, 43, 47. So, yeah, they definitely do not go in color order. But, again, it would make sense to put these in numerical order. It just makes, you know, completing the pictures so much easier. And I'm sticking to the tape. Get off. Um, so it doesn't really pay <laughs> to look at the pictures themselves. Um, but however, and I still have tape on me, way down in the left hand corner, I see that they do indicate what picture each one is. So this one says Rudy. <laughs> so that would be this picture. We have Frosty. So of course that would be this picture. We have Santa, which, oh, I think that'll be another. Well, they're all going to be fun. <laughs> and finally, we have Gingerbread. And those same names are on here so you can match them up so again in the color and chat which hopefully will be up this week yet um, because i'm having my eye surgery on thursday so i won't be putting videos up for a little bit so um yeah i want to get this one recorded before then but i think yeah we're gonna we're gonna color on this particular one yeah so again, a little bit different concept than the very large posters where they don't have the numbers in. Some people, when they do color by numbers, they don't like to see the number after they're done. Um, other people like me, it doesn't bother me. I'm not doing any great work of art. <laughs> but the numbers in here are relatively small. Let me zoom you in again. They are relatively small and they are you know, light gray. So again, if you do have a vision impairment, either you may not want to do this type of coloring or you could use a headset magnifier, um, which is what I did after my other <laughs> eye surgery just to, I couldn't give up coloring. <laughs> I had to color and dye and paint. Um, so I did have a headset magnifier, which worked great. Um, so you could do that too, but I just wanted to let you know that these uh, numbers are quite small and quite, you know, a lighter gray. But for the majority of us, they're very, very legible. So they shouldn't have a problem with that at all. So like here you can see we have a number of 120s in here. You know, so you may, may, just like other color by numbers, you know, do a lot of the 120s in one area. I don't think I would go ahead and do all the 120s on here because um, I think that would be a little overwhelming. Sometimes uh, in color by number books, I do do that. If I see like a number one, I'll do all the ones throughout the picture. But that's on a much smaller scale. Uh, this one, I think, you know, this type of a picture, I think it would be much harder to do that on. But all up to you how you want to color this. 
all personal preference. So doesn't that look like fun? Oh, thank you so much to Dottie Doodle for yet again sending me a kit to color. And like I said, I was just so excited to receive this. So yeah, I thought even though, again, it's it's a few days after Christmas, um, it's still the Christmas season. So I really wanted to get started on one of these right away. So yeah, it would make a great color and chat, right? So yeah, look forward to that video very shortly. Um, and again, if I find the videos, I will um, link down below uh, their large posters and how you do that. And then the color and chat where I'm actually coloring on that particular poster. I will again also leave um, a link to Daddy Doodle's uh, website and to this set. I'm not an affiliate or anything with the company, but I do love these. I think by coming out with these smaller kits, um, yeah, it's just much more manageable than those large posters. Um, although those posters are fun too. Um, now, yeah, again, you do receive all these markers and these markers are still going to be you know, able to be used after you are done with these pictures. I doubt any one of these markers are going to be dried up by the time you're done coloring these four pictures. Um, so yeah, so you'll have a nice set of markers after you're done with the pictures too. So isn't that awesome? I love it. So yeah, I'm looking very forward to, or I'm looking yeah, forward to. We'll just see that. I'm looking forward to the color and chat and coloring on this particular one. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the newer item that Dottie Doodle came out with. As always, if you did enjoy this, please hit that thumbs up button on your way out. Leave any comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. I will answer them to the best of my ability. And if I don't know the answer, I'll check into it and try to find out for you. Um, of course, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I'll see you in my next video. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.